Sawadika. Welcome to Annie Take on Thai. Um, today, uh, we're going to make the chicken coconut milk soup. In Thailand, we call it tom kha gai. Tom is uh, uh, boiling, and kha is the galango, actually, is uh, this herb right here that uh, we're going to use on the um, on our cooking. And uh, gai is actually chicken. And so if you're vegetarian, you can change it to either tofu or all kind of protein you want. Um, so, but today we're gonna make the chicken one. So I'm gonna start, introduce you to the all the ingredients that uh, we're gonna use in here. Uh, we're gonna, of course, we're gonna have the chicken. And I use chicken breast today. You can use chicken thigh or um, something else if you like. And then uh, we're gonna have the lemongrass. This is the lemongrass stock. And usually we're gonna use only on the, um, on the top part. We don't use right here because it's so tough and not have so much flavor. Right here is have a lot more flavor. And uh, you're gonna slide this and then uh, take about like four or five pieces like this. And uh, that's uh, the, what you're gonna use. And so do, of course, the uh, ka, which is galango. Um, we're gonna thin slice it just like that. And uh, about five pieces of it. And then, uh, the lamb leaf, the kefir lamb leaf. This is what we use, and then uh, all we do, we're just gonna tear it, like just tear it out, and then we're gonna put it on the soup later. And um, we also have the Thai chili. Um, this is the really spicy, so if you like spicy, um, have the chicken broth that I have right here. If you don't have chicken broth, you can use water as well, and. Uh, and of course the coconut milk right here. Um, fish sauce, of course Thai cooking, always fish sauce, sugar, salt right here. And um, I like vegetable, so I'm gonna put uh, cabbage, I'm gonna put carrot just to make it, give it a nice uh, color into it. Mushroom is the main, uh, what we put, the vegetable that we put the tom kha gai. And also, I can have the green onion and the um, cilantro for the garnish. And then I also have the chili paste right here. It's an option. You don't have to put it in there. It's not give you so much spice. Uh, it's have like a sweet hinge to it. It's the roasted chili that uh, a lot of Thai people like to use it. And I gonna pour uh, one cup of this chicken broth in there. In Thailand, um, when we do the coconut milk, uh, they, they use the thread coconut and they soak into the hot water and they, squeeze, they just let it soak and then massage it for a couple minutes and then they, they're going to squeeze the uh, juice out and the first juice uh, they, is going to come out really creamy and so they're going to use that first and then they're going to put another water in there as, and then they're going to put massage it again and then they're going to squeeze the um, juice out again and the juice is going to be a little bit lighter and then usually they're going to use that uh, to cook with the chicken at the beginning instead of the chicken broth they're going to use the coconut milk and uh, so I use the coconut can that we have nowadays and sometimes on the coconut can um, the the fat part and then the juice part is separate. If you, you're not shaking it and you open that and you can use the juice at the, of the coconut milk to cook your chicken first and that will be an option too. And then you keep the creamy part uh, to cook later because if you put the, um, the coconut, the creamy one into the cooking first and they're gonna break out and the fat and then the and then the water is gonna break out and it's not gonna be as creamy. So that's why we do the chicken broth today. So I'm gonna wait until my water was boil. And then when it start boiling, I'm gonna put my chicken in there. I'm gonna dash a hint of salt. And then I'm gonna dash a salt in there to keep it seasoning on the water. So when the, your chicken start getting a little bit white, I'm gonna let it cook for maybe two, three minutes to keep it tender. So that I cut it crosswise 
cost length to the chicken so it doesn't um, to keep it more tender than the um, cut it follow the the, uh, the grain so now my chicken is start boiling and then I'm gonna put all this lemon grass and galango in there to keep the fra nice flavor to the broth chicken is start getting tender now I'm gonna add my coconut milk in so uh, usually about two cup of coconut milk after it's boiled I'm gonna put the vegetable in and you can just start seasoning it so now I have the cabbage that I already cut it up my carrot that I already cut it up the mushroom though I like to put my mushroom at the end of the meal like uh, when I cooking something this is the one of the vegetable I put at the end because when you cook the mushroom for so long it's become more chewy and not like nice and crispy and sweet like it's supposed to be because you cook it too long and so I usually by the time that I done everything I'm gonna put the mushroom at the end and then I'm gonna turn the heat off I'm gonna put the carrot in there and so do the cabbage to keep the sweetness into my soup I like a lot of cabbage good for you and I usually put about two tablespoon of fish sauce it sounds like a lot but it's not really because it's like a big pot of soap so you and I like thing with a lot of flavor so I don't like bland food so and I'm gonna put the hinge of sugar in there and this chili paste I'm not gonna put so much it's gonna put just a little just to keep the nice smoky flavor to it and I also have this fresh chili and then you can just crunch it if you like it spicy crunch it out twice usually when you smack it a little bit just keep it more punch tear this lamb leaf usually you don't have to use so much of the lamb leaf in there um, probably two or three leaf will be more than enough to keep a nice flavor there's the my is gonna coming up so I'm gonna keep it mushroom in there and the lamb leaf in there I'm gonna squeeze the lamb I like sour and I like a little bit more spicy now it's like it. this thing is start boiling so I can turn it off and I'm gonna put the lamb in this bowl I like sour. I like my coconut milk really sour. So I'm gonna put two. Okay. Then I'm gonna scoop this thing into my lovely bowl here. That just have like nice color. Have the carrot, orange of the carrot, a little bit of the um, mushroom and cabbage. And I gotta garnish it just a little bit with the little onion and cilantro. Love cilantro. It's good for you. It cleans you. For watching us, Annie Take on Thai. You can like us on the Facebook or come visit Chabar Beyond Thai in Midwell right here, or T Rose Diner in Murray, or Siam Noodle Bars. Um, and, um, Kapkun Kawa.